Hello everyone, Rain here, and welcome back to more, well, Mega Man. Send help. Send a lot of help. Because, uh, I kinda can't escape doing the S-rank license. I, I really can't. It's locking off a good chunk of the remaining content of the game. Not, not any of the main story stuff, no, but it's locking off... Basically, all of our remaining sub-weapons. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't want to do this. I really just do not want to do this, but I'm... Abandon all hope is correct, Saya. Uh, Alright, let's get this loaded. Oh no, that's that's the thing, Chocobo. We aren't even to the underwater adventure yet. Uh, side note for, for the sake of clarity, um, I did look up some things and got spoiled on some things just simply because I was trying to find solutions to the S-Rank license test. Uh, yeah. Turns out that that final dungeon, or that final ruin that we've been locked out of, is, uh, it's an underwater level. Again. Why? It it specifically lowers the frame rate. Why would they choose that? Especially considering it's in the frickin' desert! Uh. But in any case, let's, let's get right to it. I may have to mute my mic a bit. The uh, landscaping people are still here. Um, and we've... Uh, a couple of my housemates gave them a very specific reason to, uh... uh I... I... Saya. Get your brain out of the gutter. Um... Okay, this is the... This is the way back. Uh, but yeah, the landscaping people are still here. And also, uh... My housemates gave them a reason to come back directly outside my window because we had some ladders sitting in the yard. Oops. Uh, why am I? I, I shouldn't be getting... Why am I... What the heck is still... out? Oh. You nerds. Oh, that does work. Okay. Um... So, I was reading, and, uh, I did find... You can choose the rapid stat on your gun a little bit by... Holding the button and rapid tapping up, it seems. You're stutter stepping forward, but you basically ignore the rapid stat on your buster. So, uh... Yeah, that was one of the tip. No! No stupid freaking floor traps! I hate this dungeon. What? What? Where? When? How? Why? What? Am I even going in the right way? Uh, or B2? I'd assume so. That kind of kind of has to be. Uh, also, this is what we're looking at for the final chunk. Oh, good lord, there's way more left to this dungeon than I expected. Also, a new enemy spawned in this section, because, uh, that... I think that wolf might have been a rare spawn, actually. But yeah, uh, because we're not going Dark Mega Man, uh, unfortunately, one of the best... Or, one of the best sub-weapons, and also the most expensive will just outright not be available to us. That is the, uh, that's the Crusher. Uh, it's, it apparently fires a black hole of some kind. Well, a, a purple hole, supposedly. I haven't seen any footage of it. Oh my. Oh my god. Uh, the rapid glitch is kind of ridiculous. Um, I, I have to stop myself from using that. Hey, get, get.
Uh. All right. Are we? Are we finally? Final. Oh, you guys are. You guys were not there before. I feel kind of bad about it, but at the same time, they attacked me first. Or ran in a very aggressive manner towards my general direction. You know, I, I, I'll i call it self-defense. Besides, let's let's be honest. Um, Mega Man would be in court for a lot more things than just uh, uh, self-defense, shall we say. Oh my god. God, there's a missile platform. Why? Uh, on a side note, it turns out that, yeah, there's a few, uh, a few of those chips that I've been ignoring picking up, uh, are in fact needed by this stage of the game, but the money routing is so crap that there's basically no way that I would have been able to get them and upgrade a sub-weapon. So, I'm, uh, the game punishes you for upgrading sub-weapons, in other words. Hey, get in range. Ooh! Hello! Oh. It's gone. How much... <laughs> I love how I hit the wrong button, and I'm just paused, and there's just the missile on the right side of the screen waiting to mess my day up. So, I believe I have to go this way first in order to get the... Yeah, I have to go this way in order to get the extra items first. So, you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Well, it all started when I was a little blue boy and... Oh, no! Wait. The lava doesn't kill. The lava doesn't kill? I... Uh, my brain hurts. Lava and lava and lava, lava, lava and lava and lava, lava, lava and lava and lava, lava, lava and lava and lava, lava. Darn it! So, uh, as it turns out, I think all of these items, if memory serves from what I was reading, all of these items that we got from the quizzes, except for the mug, can be used to just heal, uh, basically at will. Uh, and the picnic lunch too. Uh, as well as the chicken that we already used from the one, uh, thingy. Uh, the, the, the bird bot fortress. There we go. Words. They are difficult. Found the softball. 24,000 zenny, and 30,000 zenny. The economy is in shambles. We're already over 200k, so technically we should be fine. I, I probably should use one of these healing items. I'm not gonna lie. I'm... Juice. Okay, it's recharged. That was a half refill. It'll do. So here's here's part of the problem. Um, we basically do not have enough jump height slash distance in order to get back over cleanly. Um, oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Uh, we don't have enough distance to get over there with a dash jump. We we have enough distance to get back. Okay. Hey. Hey, you. With the face. And the missiles. Oh, this one has actual, like, smaller bombs that can launch. It also kind of looks like a chicken. 
Like you you can see the little the little crest in the front. Ow we Circle strafing did not pay off in my favor in that case. Also, with our normal buster, this is um not going the fastest. I can't exactly safely pause and try and you know Oh wow, I can't even Oh that missile's going. And uh, it's just going. Okay, confirm, confirm some things. I don't even know if we're going to get another data before the end of this. Or sorry, not data. His name is Save Monkey. Because he saves and is a monkey. If the key is here, I guess it's in the next room. Be careful, Mega Man. Thank you, Roll. Okay. I'm going to save state for safety. And we're going to walk through this door. Yep, that sure is a key. But... Hurry, Mega Man! The bombs will get away with the key! If you use that door in front of you, you should be able to catch up with them. Thank you, Roll. I don't understand basic directions. Oh, oh, I have to be careful here. Oh, interesting note about these enemies. Um, they have different defense values based on whether they're uh, on a wall or not. Remember what I said before? The next time we meet, we're enemies? All right, Mega Man. Huh? Next. Huh? Roll? Don't worry, we're just jamming our signal. That's all! Huh? You don't need to tell him that. Remember what I told you? If you don't do your job this time, I'll leave you here. No! Okay, Mega Man, here I come! Let's do it! Everyone ready? Oh. Oh. I have to wait for recharge. Um, I, I apologize, Tron, but, um, you didn't make your big, like, Doom Robot missile proof, so, uh, you know. I, I don't even, I, what part of that was necessary? Also, the simple fact that that quote-unquote boss fight was basically easier than literally every other part of this entire dungeon. Uh, yikes. Wait, can I even get back safely this way, or am I just going to do a... S rank ruin, D minus boss. Yeah, pretty much. The key's gone. I hope I'm not too late. Mega Man, he's getting away. Ah. Well, landed in the fire. Oh well. It's fine. 
As long as we don't get a random lifelike in this hallway, you know. Something that will actually deal damage. I hope I'm still on... Okay, I was still on fire in the explanation screen. But... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, debuffs still run during the mission uh, detail screens. I'm going to save state here as... Regardless of how ill-advised it really is to save state with zero health. You know. Mission Well, they're dead. You did it, Mega Man! Now we've got three keys. Only one left to go, Mega Man. Oh, for some reason I thought they were following the rule of threes, therefore we were going to need only three keys. Turns out there's a fourth somewhere. Oops. Oh well, not a big deal. Oh, and they healed us on the way out, so... Wow, okay. Uh, energy recharge since uh, sub-weapon might still need it. Hard save, so I don't miss... Uh, repeat the ruins of my past and get locked with only a save state in a very awkward position. And... Let's see what we got out of those ruins, shall we? Wow, we've got three keys already. Let's get this key to Blucher before anything happens. You know... It bothers me, I keep forgetting to get the stupid clip from Young Frankenstein. Because I wanted to just have it on a soundboard and be able to play it every time the name comes up. But I keep forgetting! Okay, development. Uh... Sea Saber. Oh, we have to identify the mechanic notes first. Yeah, Jugbo knows what I'm talking about. Oh, hey! Isn't that convenient? Beam blade notes! Huh. Huh. I finished making the blade arm. Welcome back, old friend. Uh, defensive systems. Okay, we don't have the other item, and I suspect, considering where we got that those notes, I suspect that that's uh, in the S-rank ruin somewhere. So yeah, we have the blade arm um, available. However, the problem is... Uh, inflation hit the Mega Man world. So everything is significantly more expensive to upgrade. Just across the board. Uh, the... The blade arm is now like two mil total to upgrade to max on all on all things. Yeah, we're barely pulling. Yeah, we got 230k on us. We're we're a bit boned. Yes, yes. Get the key to Blucher. Uh, we are in fact going to do that first for a very specific reason. Because I want to make sure that I have. A certain item available before the next dungeon. Well, no, that makes no sense. We we have to turn in the key before the next dungeon anyways. Three down, one to go. Even I can't believe you've been able to do this all by yourself. Good job, Mega Man. We have one key left to recover. It lies in the ruins under Yoshanka. However... All the pirates appear to have joined forces and are getting ready to attack Gashanka. Why? Although it looks like they don't have enough manpower to take over the city, they've outfitted a train with various weapons and are threatening to destroy the city unless we give them the key. They know that this is their last chance, so they're not likely to pull any punches. You watch yourself, Mega Man. Be ready for anything. Your first priority is to protect the city. 
Once you've dealt with the pirates, talk to the priest of the gallery. He'll open up the ruins for you. Good luck, Mega Man. Neat. Uh... And back down we go before this music drills into my brain. So, um, I was wrong about which, uh, item chip we needed for the last dungeon. Is it time to suplex a train? I wish. Uh, however, the lifter doesn't work on, like, half the enemies in the game. Hey, where did you all come from? We're working here as part-time help. We thought we were in a lot of trouble when the guards found us, but they were very nice to us and told us, to, uh, bleh. Even let's eat all the hamburgers we want. I... How do you eat? Why do you eat? Questions for later. The hamburgers here are really good. The work's fun, the pay's good, it's not bad at all. Uh... I'm not going to... You know what? Let's not go back to the sulfur bottom. To the silly place. Wait, no, I should just buy an upgrade. Hold on. Item. Extra pack for 5k. Uh, the medicine bottle is, from what I understand, uh, it's a status ailment clear. Uh, so it would be useful to pick up one, however, not right now. Oh. That's interesting. There's supposed to be an additional chip that becomes available uh, after turning in the third key. It is not here. Uh -oh. That said, though, uh, we do have access to the uh, Link Armor Omega now. However, I'm going to just wait and go straight for uh, what... Uh, I'm going to get, wait for the Kevlar... Uh, Slash Kevlar Omega, since we can just skip all of these tiers. We've already got the padded armor. Uh, the padded helmet is technically an upgrade, or it's the last helmet available. I, again, I did some looking things up. I don't know everything, obviously, but... Ooh. Ooh. These have potential. I'm gonna hold off, though. I'm just gonna hold off until we have all of our general money available. Uh, that said, I could have sold... What was it? I could have technically sold... Uh, I think it's the mug from the quizzes. Did I recharge? I didn't need to recharge. Because I got a refill on the canteen. Anytime you buy a canteen upgrade, it automatically refills. Back to Yasyanka. Seems like we were just there, doesn't it? I wonder what that person who knew my father is doing. Maybe we can see him again once everything is settled down. Yeah, about that role. I have unfortunate news for you. Well, it's time for pain, misery, and suffering. Though, there are a few side quests that I think we can do. I remember the, the whoever we're supposed to give the pig to is here on uh, Nino Island. I just don't know who it is. But I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be in the restaurant, for obvious reasons. I mean, they're gonna have to do some extra work to make this usable. It's it, the, the, the pig's still kicking after all. Uh, nope, not you. How about you? Long time no see, it's all well and good to go on adventures and pi fight pirates. We should just stop by and say hello to your friends more often, you know? Screw you, guy, I'll do what I want. Uh, okay, maybe not in the, uh,. Huh. A uh, 
apparently it's not in the, in the uh, restaurant. Okay. And I admit I'm skipping some dialogue because I don't feel like reading all this out. Uh, how about you? I don't know if we even went in here at any point. Uh, oh. Huh, interesting. Oh, this is a junk shop. Yeah, we still don't have access to the remaining part. Um... How about you? I think this is just the souvenir shop, but I'll talk to them anyways. Yeah, reasonably sure. Yep. So, uh, if you feel like... If you feel like wasting money in an already tight economy, you can just buy a bunch of extra stuff for the, uh... For the Flutter. Uh... If what I read is correct, eventually it triggers a... Event with roll that just lets you get, like, 20% off on weapon upgrades, which is cool and all, but... The amount of money you spend to get it does not exactly equal. Oh, here we go. What a cute pig. I bet I'd make a great pet. Would you let me have it? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I guess that means I'll be having bacon for breakfast. I. You literally just said you were going to make it a pet, and now you're threatening to turn it into bacon. What is wrong with you? Now, here's the real question. If we leave and come back, is the pig actually present in the area? Hit it with my mouth. Um. Uh. That sounds wrong? I can't identify exactly why that sounds wrong, Chocobo, but. Picky. Uh. Also, one of the easiest ways to become Dark Mega Man. And, uh, as a result, get a 20% price hike on all shop purchases. Uh, is Kick Pigs. It will turn you into Evil Mega Man. Alright, well, we saw it long enough. It's time for S-Rank License Hell. Okay, actually, I'm just going to set the save state here. No, I can just set the save state in the test itself. Because we we don't have the timer until we go through the first door. But with knowledge of the rapid fire glitch and uh, a better knowledge of how to do throws, we should be a bit better off for this one. I got dinged. Oh, come on. I picked you up. Uh, well, this is a problem. We Uh, we Grab, please. Grab, please. God ah, darn it. Okay. Take two. Load state. The fact that there's no music for this is part of what makes it really annoying. Okay. Now, if I do this right, one goes to you. And then one goes to you. Uh, what's funny is the Rapid Glitch might not be using my full damage. Oh, come on. Uh, 
Yeah, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. I need to... I, I'm doing too many fancy glitches and not actually trying to execute properly. Let's hit this again. I may just queue up the actual, like, music playlist again for this while we attempt. Because, yeah, just having the cave ambience is kind of eh. So, down to you, and... Someone just remind me to stop the music when we're done. Oh, you can throw into the guys up top. Ow. Uh, that was a failed attempt, but we learned some things. Ah! The lock-on's being stupid. No, I... Ugh. If the game would just let me actually pick up the enemy I'm trying to pick up... Nope. Nope, I'm just gonna reload again. I don't know how I went from being at least decent and consistently able to get past the first room to this mess. No, I grabbed him. I pushed the grab button. Let me grab. Good God game. Uh. Oh, so that's how we're doing this, huh, game? That that's how we're gonna play this? Uh, I got the wrong one. If I could at least consistently get past the first room, I'd be happier. And, like, frame perfect, gets out of his shield, hits me between shots. Ugh. Okay, this music's not... Can we not get the slow droning ambient tracks? Please, game. Not you. Also, I think I need to turn the music back up a bit. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be our life for the next X span of time. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, not you. You. Okay, got him grabbed again. I need left. And I got hit by the stupid uh, debuff, so there we go. Oh, and now I'm getting chain uh, toxic. I don't know what the technical debuff name is. I can't get around them. Couldn't get around them to actually pick up either of them and throw them, so, you know, there you go.
Let me grab! Good God, game! Come on! It's literally the entire freaking gimmick, and it's so inconsistent. This is what you designed your... your S-rank test about. You know, the thing that's supposed to demonstrate... Oh, hey! Okay. And I got hit anyway, so there we go. That's that's another fail. Even when I do get to grab them, I just get screwed anyways. It's ridiculous. It's just patently ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get to you in a moment. Okay. No. The lock-on changed from the enemy I was targeting to an enemy that I wasn't, you know, to the enemy that was further away from me. So I couldn't grab the guy I was trying to grab. I am still just biting my tongue on a very, very, uh, just cruel statement about this game and this series. Simply because this is such BS. And can't really do anything because, oh, debuff. Oh, gotta, gotta have no resources for this S-rank license test. I'm, I'm debuffed anyway, so I can't even do anything, so I might as well just reload it. Might as well just reload it. Oh, got debuffed anyways. And when I go to grab the one, I get shredded by the other. So, what the hell am I supposed to do, game? What what am I supposed to do here? Cuz I'm not I'm not even using the rapid glitch anymore if you hadn't noticed. I I'm literally just using the lift as the game seems to intend. Oh, and this time I couldn't lift this guy for some reason. I uh, it's it's now not letting me lift the enemies. Oh, I, I, yeah, my health bar's just gone. Wow. This, this is what we have to do for the next X amount of time. Because I guarantee you, there's just going to be some random BS in one of the last dungeons that's going to require additional upgrades that we don't have and or can't afford. I'm sorry. This is bringing out some of the worst in me. Think fondly to the moment where I don't have to do this. That's me literally turning off the game at this point. Jump above them and stun lock them. You need to... Survival decks? Thank you, I know. I have gotten to the final room of this. At least twice. Okay? I know what to do. The game is just so fucking inconsistent that it will not allow me to do it. Oh, and again, go for the grab. And immediately doesn't freaking work. Because I get hit by the guy next to me. Because stun locking doesn't work if you aren't shooting the target that needs to be stun locked. Oh, and this time the grab didn't work, so might as well just reset there. This is this is such blatant BS. Oh, and this time the grab didn't go off. Oh. Why pattern your entire game around a singular sub-weapon 
that is completely fucking useless and inconsistent. I'm sorry for the language, but this is actually pissing me off. And I am just so done with it. But if we want any of the remaining sub-weapons, we have to do this. Oh, that time I didn't even get to grab them. So, there you go. And uh, the PS1 era excuse doesn't hold up. Uh, Dex, when you consider that there are other PS1 games that are way better p put together, and also this is the end of the PS1's life cycle, this kind of crap shouldn't have hit shelves, okay? This level of jank should not have hit the store shelf. Okay, this time I got the grab. Nope, and I got debuffed anyway, so we're running around in circles for a moment. I can just aggro these, hopefully. It's I can at least escape the explosive radius. Okay. Okay, debuff cleared. We're technically hitting this room. We're hitting this room before four minutes, so that's actually very good. And I have no problem rapid glitching these stupid spawners. Die faster, please. I can't. I can't afford to quick save during this timer. Oh, got stuck in the enemy's hitbox, so I couldn't couldn't grab him. And he passed through the crab. Uh, and I'm stuck in the enemy's hitbox while I try to throw him. Let them throw. So, have to wait for the debuff to clear. Hurry up, game. And now for straight up hell. Alright, thanks for locking on to the little ad instead of any of the spawners, you know, the things that I have to kill to progress the room. Thanks, game. And again, my stop randomly shot, or my, my shot stops when I have to hit the back button to move away from the enemies that are steadily closing on my position. So that's more time wasted, and more DPS wasted. Oh, great, got hit one, one, on that one, so I'm not going to have health for the final room. That's a joy. No, I don't want to target the... I don't want to target those guys. I want to target the things trying to close on my position and explode on me. Thank you, game. I I can only imagine that this would be even worse if I had to use the... Uh... Oh. You know what? Fine. Screw it. Oh my god, it didn't connect. The throw didn't connect twice. That's a fail. Because I need over a minute to finish the final room.
God! If this stupid throw was consistent! And again, locking on to random enemies five miles away instead of what I need to kill. Can I pull it off? Nope! Well, that's that's just a failed that that's just a failed attempt. This is misery. This makes me want to stop playing this game. I I don't want to do this. But if I don't, there's crap in the last uh sub ruin and a significant amount of money which we need for upgrades, chips, etc., etc. Like, a literal third of the game's money economy, just from, uh, just counting treasure chests and the like, is in that final dungeon. Or in that final ruin. It's ridiculous. And they lock it behind this mess. Oh, and there we go. There we go. He just starts locking on to me. I give up. I just... If I had literally any backup project in place, I would be switching to it now. But I don't. I love how the game's lying to me about my actual shot range. Because it's saying I'm in range of some of these, but uh, I'm locked on and the shots just are not connecting. They fixed a lot of things about the lock-on system, but, uh, who boy does, was selecting the actual targets you're locking on to not one of them. Also, uh, apologies if you can hear the weed whacker going in the background. I, uh, like I said, the lawn care people are still present. I... Hey, game! I hit the grab button. There we go. Okay. Boy, if I had any clue of how to do that with my current emulator, I probably would. Not gonna lie. I, I had considered it. Two minutes, 55 seconds. We're good on health as long as I don't mess up in the next significant span of time. Namely, this next room. Okay, there's one. Make sure I've got the proper lock on here.
Rapid glitch this. Problem is, I'm slowly inching towards it every time I do that. Okay, two minutes for this room. But the big problem is whether or not we can clear the... Uh, Uh, whatchamacallit. The two Sniper Joes. Hey, game? Oh, I cleared, but I still got the debuff. Okay, that's fine. And I immediately get just dive-bombed by both of these. I'd rather be in the final room for this than... They hit me out of the air somehow. Okay, that's cool. That stupid drill charge. And and them just being able to hit me out of the room still. That's one of the big ones. Nope, I'm dead. If I get down to only needing to hit one of them, or kill one of them, that'd be great. But uh, there's just not enough time. Come on, come on, come on! I love how I apparently lost two viewers at the end of that entire thing. Well, we we cleared the test. Ah, uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just hit a button here. Yeah, that one right there. And then I'm gonna hit that button because we no longer need we no longer need the music. Congratulations, you just made the game harder for yourself. No worries. I don't think it's you, Saya. It's fine either way. It's just... God. I mean, we're, we're doing better than our usual viewer average anyway, so thanks to whoever's lurking. It is greatly appreciated. I'm sorry you had to see me at some of my worst there. But holy crap. That was not a well-designed test at all. Because it doesn't use most of what you would learn. It, no. Uh, our, uh, Chocobo, um, it, it does not work like that patently. I, I, I'm very familiar with how Twitch's viewer system works. Um, so it, it doesn't use the... YouTube chat lurkers don't count thing. Um, there is the possibility that they got hit by an ad and it just didn't count because they weren't technically watching the stream anymore. They're stuck watching an ad for a minute and a half. But regardless, um, my brain is a little bit fried after that. I apologize. Uh, but no, what I was saying, uh, that was not a t that was not a good test. Because it doesn't use any of what the player has realistically learned or picked up over the rest of the game. If they allowed you to use sub-weapons, if they allowed you to customize your buster, you know, standard features of the game otherwise, that would be different. 
but they don't. And instead force you to use the lifter to do 90% of your damage. Which, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mega Man Legends 2 staff, but I guarantee you about 75% of the player base will not use the lifter unless they are literally forced to like that test. Because it is such an inconsistent piece of crap. They put too much focus on a weapon and mechanic that they did not properly... Uh, how do I put it? Because I can't say that they didn't design for it, because clearly that test is meant to use... <laughs> Hopefully people understand what I'm trying to say here. A lot of the core mechanics of the game are not designed to use something like the lifter. They are designed for you to run and gun. And because there is contact damage, you can just get caught in the enemy's hitbox. It, it just does not make sense, you know? It really doesn't. So we're going to the, we're going to the, whatchamacallit, uh, uh we're, we're going to the s rank run. Sorry, my brain is shot. I, and once again, Mega Man is just randomly able to understand animals. Except that mech suit is definitely breaking druidic oath, so I don't understand how he has speak with animals as a spell. Maybe he's casting it from a scroll or a wand, I don't know. Alright, and as our reward, oh, oh, I hope you guys are ready. I, I hope you, I hope you guys are ready. Ta-da! It's another underwater level! End my suffering! I'm gonna take a sip of my drink real fast. Uh, just, just appreciate it. Appreciate the, uh... The minus 10 FPS consistently. But seriously, they an underwater level with minus 10 FPS, and that's, you know, I can kind of get that, depending on where it would be. However, they put it in the desert. Oh, also, because we, uh, got, whatchamacallit, we got the stupid, uh, S-rank license. Yeah, now enemies have a stupid amount of increased HP. So, uh, we're going to have to spend some of the money that we get here on increasing our missile damage, at least. Because even a maxed out buster won't clear these easily. In fact, we're kind of at the stage where the buster becomes useless. At least based on raw stat. Oh, right, I need to equip the, uh... I need to equip the underwater gates. Hydrojets! We Oh, that that distortion on the texture was not pl Oh, come on. On the plus side, uh, enemies do start dropping more money as a result of us getting the S rank license. It's just killing them is that much more of a pain in the in the rear 
And uh, good luck collecting the drops when, well, you got a room of about 20 enemies. Well, not 20 enemies, that's a gross exaggeration. Uh, about five enemies all gunning for your face at once. Okay, we got the... Whatchamacallit. Um, yeah, we got the sub-weapon energy restore off that, which is nice. 25k in the random hole in the wall. Yay, this room is kind of fishy, according to Saya. You're not wrong, but also... No. No, just no, stop. You know what you did. Okay. Just clearing map tiles because I can. Saya? Okay. Uh, wow. What? That was really all for one entire side of this thing? Jeez. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm getting that psychosomatic need to hold my breath again. I, I It happens anytime I'm in an underwater level. I can't avoid it. It's just the low droning ambience. Yeah, it's kind of another place that I feel that Legends... I think both Legends honestly did it to some degree. The Legends 2 is the worst offender. Um, the soundtrack for things like the the Ruins, um, definitely a downgrade. It, it's just low droning ambiance. It's not really... Ugh. It's meant to evoke a sense of, I guess... Dread that just really isn't there. Because there's not much in this game that can... I don't know. How do I put it? Um, the game hasn't made anything really feel like a threat, you know? Like an actual threat to Mega Man. Like, sure, there have been boss fights and... We've had some mildly rough times with them, but it's never been, oh crap, this will actually kill Mega Man. If that makes, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's a trap. That, there's no way that isn't a trap. <laughs> Stupid mimic. It gets me every d darn time. On the plus side, how are we doing on money? Yeah, we're up to 270k. Oh, and I fired a missile directly into the wall. That's joy. Um, if we do run into any drill arm doors, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to come back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, lock onto the enemy directly in front of me, please. Uh, was that Sniper Joe T-posing standing on the crab, or was that just me? Because that's what it looked like. I thought so. Also, look at this nerd. He's literally trying to clip me through the floor with the, uh, bubble shot. Also, like, 
A full mag of missiles has not cleared these guys. Also, uh, oh boy. Um, hold on. I have to get the money. There we go. Uh, we spent way more... We spent way more on that than we should have in terms of sub-weapon ammo. Another one, really? Yeah, now that I know about the rapid glitch, I don't feel bad using it. To be fair, I was kind of using a wimpier version of it with my back step, uh, stutter stepping anyways. Found the sensor. Well. Now this game can finally be sold in Australia. Sorry, that was a, that was a low one. Um. A lot of people aren't even going to get what I'm talking about. If you're curious, look up Australian video game censorship, particularly in the 90s. That's if you get rid of the censor. No! No, by censoring it, they make it able to be sold in Australia. Because the implication of the censorship is that uh, I, I'm I, I'm literally explaining the joke. I'm literally explaining the joke. I I wow! I have failed basic comedy. I'm sorry. I I I need to turn in my clown license. On the plus side, I get rid of the clown license. I am no longer obligated to be funny. Wow, just a room with three crabs, huh? That's that's what we're going with. That's that's the best you got. So okay, I'll just be get visited by a unicorn later. That's gonna happen regardless, because we all know they're stalking me. Would you die already, please? Please, crab? I require you to die. You're not even an actual crab, you're just a robot crab. And not even a good particular- you're, you're not even a valid interpretation of a robot crab. I don't see any pincers. You, you've just got- you just- OH GOD! STUPID frickin' MIND BOTS, WHY?! Oh, I'm not getting away from- I'm not getting away from him. Yep, took the ding. There, there was no avoiding that. It, it, imitation crab. You're not wrong. And I wish I'd come with that, up with that before you did. Nope. Ow. Also, did anybody else just hear the little plunk of Mega Man's helmet hitting the floor? Because I did. And... and oh, that's a... That, really? You put a chest in front of a door and expect people to not think it's a mimic. Yeah, yeah, everybody's gangster until the chest stands up. Uh, okay. Um. This is... Why do you exist? Or is this a drill arm? No? The real Jape would be at the door as a mimic? Where... I love how Saya and Chocobo have the same idea back to back about door mimics instead. Okay, 50-50 on this one. Nope. 
Okay, we don't need to kill those, so... Oh, great, more fish bots. Um, where did all the drops go from the one fish bot? There we- ow, we... Well, hey, they, they took me into the, uh... They, they knocked me into the special weapon ammo, so I'll take it. And I'm not gonna complain about that. And there was health left over, so... And then we just have a lonely sniper Joe trying to defend himself and the little treasure chest behind him. I'm gonna laugh if the chest behind him is also a mimic. Oh. I knocked him backwards through the chest. Oops. Okay, that's better. A long tongue pops out of the Sniper Joe's shield? What? Um... I'm suddenly very concerned about the fanfiction that Armor Jokobo is writing. You found 15,000 zenny. Yay! Sniper Joe shield mimic? I... Ugh... Thanks, I hate it! Oh my good god! Also, this dungeon is not as extensive as I was hoping for. Like, we've gotten a good amount of my whoa Oh no, not you, not you, not you. I hate you. Imagine if there were rust monsters. Yeah, no, that really wouldn't work with this world. I mean, it would, but, like, it would just basically render it an unwinnable situation. Because everything we would be finding in uh, in ruins would have already been eaten by rust monsters. The only thing that can't be a mimic is a mimic. Or can they? I mean, one would argue that a... Oh, no, no, I... Oh, you guys again! Oh, no, 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 no. No. Bad. Bad. I hate these stupid things. We might not even have enough weapon energy for, uh, or to clear these. But if I can get down to there only being, like, one or two left, I, I'll probably be fine. Also, the little plonk of Mega Man's helmet hitting the floor again. Okay, and we have one just way off in the distance firing Electro Balls at me. Homing Electro Balls at that. Please stop, I do not wish to touch your balls. I... I just... I just straight up said that. I didn't even think about it. I just... I... Arya, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> Am I locked onto the... Darn it, I'm locked onto the one with the most health now. I'm, I'm trying to clear them bit by bit so I don't... Okay, die. Die, please. Uh, okay, it does drop, it does drop money. It doesn't drop, uh, actual, you know, weapon energy, which I kind of need, but hey, it's a start. We're gonna have to buster the remainder of these, unfortunately. Owie, owie, holy crap, those hurt. But then again, we aren't technically, uh, at max health. Ow. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, 
oh, come on, it went to the spinny BS phase where it just starts, it just deflects all shots. Though the very fact that they have missile deflection implies that they have levels in Monk. Make of that what you will. Ow. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, of course. No! Ouch! Okay, items. It is finally time to use the energy canteen. Yay! Wait. What do you mean we use the full energy canteen? I thought I only had 7 HP. Also, why is there a little one just... Why is there a tiny octopus just sitting in the background? Or squid. Jellyfish. Wow. Eventually I'll go through the remainder of marine life and figure out what it is. Oh, it's a bomb. Please stop spinning. It is a neat trick. I won't lie. Would you... And then it's spinning again. I can't hit it. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. I hit the dodge button. Uh, we're gonna have to use one of the, uh, healing items again. Oh, can't use that. Wait. Full heal off the pocket of pastry. Wait, why did the lock-on change to the random exploding one? Excuse me? I didn't even break my lock-on. And did that. But, uh, yeah, we're completely out of sub-weapon energy. So, uh, got that going. And behold! The Red Refractor. Or Refractor S. It is worth 100k. Though we're already at 350 for, uh, For everything in this dungeon. Uh, oh no, time for lifter? No, I refuse. Please tell me the mobs aren't back. Uh, also, yes, we're missing a door or two. Because I thought there were more sub weapon parts in this, but uh, it seems not. Did we? We already got that. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. The, um... The Shining Lasers parts are literally in the final dungeon of the game. So, we will not be seeing it this run, unfortunately. Oh, Mechanic Note 6. I don't know what that turns into. Also, we're still missing the, uh, the shield. Yeah, we haven't found the shield that we're supposed to combine into the shield on. I mean, we got the softball and the sensor. I might have to look up where that is, because we should, we should have it. We basically full cleared this place. I thought it was in here because I haven't found it anywhere else. Maybe it's in just some random hole in the wall. I don't know. Okay, where's the exit? 
exit is south. Also, not a single drill arm door in this one either. Which is kind of weird considering how prevalent they were in the first game. Like, they give you the drill arm early in this one, and then they rarely use it. There weren't any drill arms in uh, the lava dungeon either, now that I think about it. Like, we got all the items in the lava dungeon on the first go. At least as far as I'm aware. If we didn't, and that's where the shield is, I'm going to be annoyed with myself. Yes, return to the surface. Take me out of this place. Please. Oh, I just realized the shield arm, or the shield item. Uh, oh, I have to switch back off the aqua jets. Uh, the shield item might be in the next dungeon in Yoshanka. It would make sense. I don't understand why these guys keep popping up. Because they were on uh, the Birdbot Island, too. And as far as I know, they don't respawn if you kill them. Ooh, that... Okay, from a distance, it looked like the... Uh, it looked like the other one over here was flying. You know what? Do I really need to kill them? The answer is no, I don't. Let's move on with our life. Oh. Uh, hi. Oh, Th this person owns the... I don't know what they're supposed to be, because the ring tail kind of makes me think raccoon. But it doesn't have the doesn't have the facial markings of one. What are you? A tanuki, maybe. I mean, it's possible, but uh, it doesn't have the markings of a red panda either. And ref it refuses to give up its secrets, so, uh... Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Okay. We have 357,000 zenny. I think it's time to do some things. Oh, actually, no, we have more than that. I forgot. Items. Uh... Let's see. We can sell the mug safely. I am aware of that. We can sell the Refractor S. Uh, weapon parts. I, it doesn't make sense to get rid of the, any of the old weapon parts or items. Or, yeah. So, let's grab the remaining health upgrades, and then we're going to grab a few empty canteens. I think that's good enough. Um, that prevents fire damage from enemy attacks, but I don't believe it prevents it from uh, terrain. The resistor chip is what we needed for the anti-lava boots or whatever they were. Uh, it says and ice damage though, so I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna set a hard. Uh, I'm gonna set a uh, quick save here before we buy it. Though I think technically the. I think technically the Sulphur Bottoms junk shop is closer. But I want to buy the resistor ship. That resistor chip. Not ship. Chip. I'm going to buy both of these. See what they turn into. And then... Uh, decide whether or not we're keeping them. Because I really do need to get some upgrades onto the... Uh, homing missile. 
considering that's pretty much our endgame weapon. It's it's the active buster from the previous game upgrade. I I can't take myself away from it. And nothing as far as I can tell has really uh made uh, nothing has made a difference in my opinion on that. Though honestly, I should break out some of the new sub weapons that we've been getting and try them out. Okay, development room. Develop it. The asbestos shoes. Wait, hover shoes? Excuse me? Uh, auto fire. And combine with the auto fire notes. Hunter Seeker. I need to see what some of these are. Okay, there's the blade arm, spread buster, aqua blaster. Hunter Seeker. Independent weapon that closes in on a target while firing regularly. Is this just a turret drone? I gotta give this a shot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not what I wanted to do. I'm probably gonna reload anyways. Um. Hold on. Equipment. Body parts. Shoes. Okay. Prevents numbness when walking over electrified floors. Okay, we're already past the point that we would ever need those. Prevents damage from hot, cold surfaces. I have a sneaking suspicion that this were, we might need in the upcoming dungeon, but I'm not sure. So I'm probably going to hold off on that and just reload the save. In fact, let's let's just do that now. Let's reload, and we'll hold off on getting the resistor chip. Okay. That said... Yeah, I don't need any of those. We already got the... Hold on. Yeah, we already got the extra packs and everything else that we want, so the rest of this money will probably go into... gear upgrades. If I like the Hunter Seeker, I might start... Put, I might put all that 300k into it. Uh, let's make a hard save here at Data before we do anything else. So I haven't made a hard save in a while, now that I think about it. And I might actually just do a few of the flutter upgrades while I'm at it as well. Is I would like to get that 20% if there's another way around it. Ah, oh, right, the TV is 25k. Um, let's see. Okay, development room again. Let's make the Hunter Seeker. Equip it, and let's go give this a shot. Though, where is a good question? Um... Sorry, I'm trying to think here. Wait, no, not... My brain is shorting hard right now, and I am not able to function as a human being. I apologize. Uh, I could land on the I could land on the Forbidden Island just to do a raw test. But I'd like some damage estimates as well. So we'll land on Yashanka. Oh, good! It doesn't immediately ambush us with the event. 
So that means I can go out here. Okay, so what is the Hunter Seeker is a good question. Boop. I... Huh. I wonder... Hey! Hey, Reaverbot! I, I am requesting a Reaverbot to come and attack me. This is your open invitation. Please appear at your earliest convenience. Also, I have something on my screen in a weird spot. Hold on. There we go. That smudged it. What? What? So it makes a little drone that auto-fires, it seems. Yeah, it, it makes a turret drone. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that. But I like my missiles more. I'm sorry. But while we're here, this is actually a good opportunity to take out and... Ow! Ow! Stop! Ow! Stop! Stop! Cease! Let me... Oh, it seems like you can also just directly fire the... You can just directly fire the Hunter Seeker into enemies and they'll explode. What? You... Oh, I think it has different behaviors depending on whether you're locked on or not. Because it seemed like it would actually try to close in and explode on an enemy if you targeted them, but wait, what the heck happened here? This, this used to be a ruined house. What? Explain, child. My dad built a really big machine to help save the city, but he worked too hard and got sick. And now my little con is gone too. What am I going to do? Well, the real question is, is Khan the bunny? Is Khan the bunny directly over here? Because if it is, um, no, give, give bun. Deliver bun directly unto me. Hey, is this your bun? Is this your bunny? I cannot talk to her while I have the bunny. But we have a bunny now. The wow. They really do multiply. We have bun. This is mine now. I'm taking this. You can't stop me. The bunny is gone and now I am sad. Okay, let's see first off what the Hunter Seeker upgrades look like. Um You know Chocobo, I was just about to make that joke. Yes, the bunny and the tundra are free. You can just take them. There is no, there, there is no law stopping you. Eh. Okay, uh, let's look at what the Hunter Seeker can do. Okay, an attack upgrade. Yeah, it's got a special upgrade. Special upgrade for 10k, but it doesn't say what it does. I suspect the ten I suspect the special is the lifetime of the drone. Can't upgrade rapid at all, that's interesting. Can't upgrade energy. Okay. Uh for the sake of completeness, I'm going to show off basically all the sub weapons that we've gotten up to this point. Just for uh, especially the spread buster here, because this is one we didn't get in the last game, and didn't, and basically haven't found an equivalent of. So, uh, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get this one, because I know what it is, I know what it does, and I know what it looks like when it's fully upgraded, and it is a thing of glory. Uh, 
I have to equip it first. Hold on. I have to make sure I'm not destroying any innocent animals while I'm doing this. So, the Spread Buster... Well, what would you imagine? Probably a shotgun, right? Well, you'd be partially right. It's not just a shotgun. Oh, wait, no, it is just a shotgun in this game. They changed it. That's actually kind of sad. Uh, never mind. I am immediately corrected. It's supposed to shoot explosives. And just shoot, basically, a horizontal line of explosives. Maybe it still does when it's upgraded. It's also got a really fast uh, shot recharge time. Not bad energy consumption, either. But I can see us running out of it way faster than we would the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Uh, we would run out of it way faster than we would the missiles. Even fully upgraded, because I would just be spamming that thing as my main weapon. So I'm a little disappointed at the initial representation of the Spread Buster in this game. Um, I was expecting a horizontal line of explosions, not, well, this. Okay. Uh, recharge our energy. And then we need to switch to the development room. And I'm going to check what the upgrades are on the Spread Buster real fast because I'm curious about something. Yep. Okay. I'm going to I am going to quick save this. Or save state this rather. Because I have a sneaking suspicion I know what this special upgrade is. The second I saw it, I knew. So let's take a look at what this thing plays maxed or nearly maxed. Let's see, can we get full? We do have enough to fully max it. So, let's go take a look, shall we? So that was before, that was without the special upgrade, whatever it may be. And this is what it's going to be with the special upgrade. And I hope I'm right. I am hoping I am right about what this special upgrade does. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It is going to be absolutely beautiful if it is. But I don't want to just... You know what? Nah, we're, we're just going to fire it. That's... Okay, it's still firing pink. Uh, it seems we have infinite energy, though. That's... No, we do not. We do not have infinite energy. Give me something to shoot. What? What's the special then? What? What's the special then? What? Never mind. It is not the explosion factory, which means this version of the spread buster is by default worse than the previous game. That is a that is a crying shame. Well, in that case, I suppose it's time to look at something else. So we have two weapons here that I had considered for a while, but never actually played with. The Hyper Shell and the Buster Cannon. We're going to take the Hyper Shell out first. I'm, I am just going to immediately start upgrading it. Uh, oh, we don't have enough money to max out the energy, but that's fine. We don't really need to max the range either. We can't increase the rapid. Oh. Well, we messed up and don't have enough to increase the attack. So let's... Let's see what the... Uh, let's see what this this one is. Now its name is Hyper Shell. So if it's not, if it is not a glorious f explosion factory, I'm going to be disappointed. 
You have the opportunity to do something great here, Mega Man. Or rather, Capcom. I mean, look at this thing. It is... It is the entire arm. This weapon takes off Mega Man's arm up to the shoulder. If it is not glorious, and if it doesn't one-shot these basic Reaver bots, I am going to be very, very disappointed. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I need more Reaver bots to shoot. I need more Reaver bots to shoot. And that's only base damage, yeah, but these are also, like, extremely low health enemies. That is... that is a line of explosions that reaches in front of and behind Mega Man when he fires it. Yeah, keep in mind, the extra... Uh, a non-direct attack is not clearing... Uh, any, anything near the target. So you basically have to hit them with the shell itself. And the AoE is just a significantly lower damage value. So that's a really fun one. That, that is admittedly a really fun one. Let's take a look at the Buster Cannon. Shall we? Okay, no special. No rapid. However, it does have energy. That's probably an infinite energy upgrade. I'm going to hold off on that one. We are going to get some attack on this one. Oh, it costs... It costs half a mil to get the final damage upgrade on the Buster Cannon. Ooh, boy. Uh, energy's 120. Right. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Let's equip that. And let's see what the Buster Cannon is. Uh, if I am correct, this is the Powered Buster from the first game, with some minor changes. So it's, it should be effectively a, a sniper, a sniper rocket launcher. Though I'm questioning what the gigantic stabilizer fin on the back is for. Because that's a bit of a silly design. Alright, Reaverbots. I... Excuse me? It's got a very distinct sound. It's also got a very slow fire speed. Hey, bro. Alright, that is... Yeah, that... I, I, I kind of like this one. I, I don't like that it's got such a slow firing rate, but... Yeah. This is like... I... I don't know what I can... Mm. Oh, I know exactly what this is reminding me of. It's not quite the proper colors, but it's like a beam sniper from uh, something like Gundam. You know? Yeah, maybe... Also, the uh, sound effects are a little bit weird from a distance. Hmm. That one might be worth investing into and actually keeping. But I think for the time... I, I think it is admittedly better to just focus on the homing missile, considering that's what we've already put so much into. Maybe a sunk cost fallacy. I'll, I'll admit it might be. But... Considering we can't really get the Shining Laser until endgame, and the Shining Laser costs something to the tune of 18 million to fully upgrade, it's not worth it. So, let's grab... What are the upgrades? Okay, 1 mil to max out the damage on the homing missile. That's not happening. 30k for an energy upgrade. 500k to max out the energy on homing missile. Okay. 
Range is 60k, but I'll hold off for a moment. Rapid... Jeez. Never mind, we don't really have much more that we can actually put into this. I thought we did, but no, it's... It's maybe... It's a range and a rapid upgrade at best, and that's basically it. Um, we made it through the S-rank license, Dash. Uh, much to the detriment of my mental health. I always wondered if the bars were in actually indicative of stats. It's a rough ballpark. Uh, sub-weapons... Sub-weapons deal just on base in an increased amount of damage compared to the Buster. I already have the Blade Arm, actually. Uh, we got the Zet Saber on stream two, I want to say. Which, now that I think about it, thank you for reminding me. I want to show that off. So, uh, one moment. Roll back the save. Blade Arm. Now, we aren't going to be able to get all of the upgrades on this. We're going to get... No, we're not going to get two. Hold on. Let's grab energy. Energy. Yeah. The blade arm in this game is a lot more expensive to upgrade, unfortunately. And I've heard that apparently this version of the blade arm has like a special it has a special Z Saber combo by like double tapping or something like that. It's we'll see once we get out there. Well, Dash, it's unwieldy because it's a melee weapon in a game full of uh and a game intended for range. It's the same problem that the lifter has, frankly. The Because of contact ga damage, the game disincentivizes getting close. I see. We've... We have progressed to full Rainbow Blade. Also, it doesn't shoot a blade beam anymore, which I, which I want to call a straight downgrade. Actually, uh, well, single shots wiping out uh, lower tier enemies, so not bad. Not bad, but not the best. I think, yeah, I'm gonna roll back the save again. Um, we're gonna get the remaining upgrades that we can on Homing Missile for right now, and we'll save our money for whatever else we need coming up. Uh, one million frickin' Zenny to get the final Homing and... Ugh. Okay, can't get 500k. There we go. However, now we have max range. And... We could get max rapid, however, again, I don't feel like we need the rapid all that much with, with homing missile specifically. Maybe now that we're on S rank difficulty, but eh. Okay. All that energy charge. We should still have the homing missile equipped, and I'm going to save this before I just. Second guess myself and continue messing with sub weapons. But now that we're on Yoshanka, uh, let's at least start the next part of the main story. We have spent a literal half hour just playing with sub weapons. <laughs> uh, and I apologize for that for those who didn't find it particularly interesting. Um, while we're at it though, as long as the event doesn't. No, uh, homing missile is not more expensive to max out than the shining laser. The shining laser costs 18 million to max out in this game. Uh, the second most expensive is, I believe, the crusher, which we can't even get because I'm not going Dark Mega Man. 
even though I have the other part for it. Uh, there's something else in town, and also I think we can get the final uh, few letters here. Hold on. Hey, that letter you've been looking for has arrived. Here you go. Got Serbot letter two. Another letter for you from those kids. The ring looks really good now. And the twins letter number three. And I got distracted again. Okay, Serbot letter number two. Hello, my name is Serbot number 32. You may not remember, but we met a few years ago. I'm writing to you because something's wrong with Miss Tron again. She's acting very strangely. Every time you mention the last mission, her face goes all red and then she gets upset at us and then she gets depressed. What happened in the ruins in Kimatoma? Number 11 and number 23 who were there won't tell. Next time we see each other, please tell me what happened. We're all very worried about Miss Tron. Bye for now. Yeah, it's like a million to the church in order to actually uh, get back to Light Mega Man, I believe. Okay, final letter from the twins. Dear Mega Man, how are you? We're fine. We're still studying with our sister. We haven't seen you for a long time. We hope you can come back and visit us soon. If you did, it would make our sister Shu really happy. Bye, Apo and Da. Um, yes, I showed Tron that the power of her mech was did not stand up to the power of my missiles. Um, okay. In one of these buildings, and I'm not sure which because I didn't look up video, I only looked up, like, raw. Oh. That story. Um, I only looked up where... Or I only looked up, like, rough descriptions of where items were. Uh, we do have the other half of the vacuum arm that we can get here in Yosyanka somewhere, I believe. It's either Yusyonka or it's over on Nino Island. It's one of the two, I can't remember which. Uh, we've already been here, that's the mayor. It should be like a residential area. Because we need to get the broken vacuum in order to make the vacuum arm. Um, I want to say it's here. Yep, that was it. There it is. Broken vacuum. Mystery solved. Sub-weapon obtained. I still don't know where the shield is. Uh, for the shield arm. That's, that's still a mystery. But, you know what? With how little time we have left... Uh, let's go see how the dialogue changed. It's broken anyways, Chocobo. It's fine. We're, we're technically saving her from trying to pawn it off the, to the junk shop for, what, five zenny, more than likely? Yeah, since we don't really have enough time to advance the story properly this stream, um, I think we'll go back to the Birdbot Island and uh, go talk to the twins, even though I really don't want to. Uh, development. Development. Broken vacuum and broken motor. To make the vacuum arm. It does basically what it did last game. However, I don't know how expensive it is to fully upgrade. Um, but it is still useful for farming and basically nothing else. That's kind of its entire purpose. So roll, let's quickly take a peek over at Birdbot Island, which I never remember the name of. Albania. Okay. Yeah, it's it it is pretty cheap from what I remember as well, from my lookups. Um and it does get infinite energy. If it didn't, it would be basically worthless, uh, frankly. Uh well, because you would have to leave the farm every time, and it's like, yeah. At that point, just take another sub weapon. Now I know. Oh, they they haven't updated their 
dialogue? Like, the kids are... It's weird. Huh. You'd think the kids would have updated their dialogue now that they sent the third letter. But they didn't. Well, that was a glorious waste of time. Now I feel even worse dragging us out here when, well... Hi, Megan, my hair is still ridiculous. Yeah, the... the... I don't know why they just... Also, they still don't know how to properly walk. They just kind of hop everywhere. I... There, there's a mild shuffling of the legs. But not much else. Okay, you know what? While we're here... Let's see how the differences in the... Uh... Wait, why do we immediately have the combat music? Those, those shouldn't be aggro to me. Oh, I saw the spread buster equipped! Darn it! I'll be back. You know, you're not wrong, Mirage. Also, you're not wrong about the vacuum arm, either. I, I can see that as... A, a, they probably should turn it into a passive rather than an active. That or just give you... Just give you separate... Uh, let you switch sub-weapons on the fly, you know, and just have a shared resource pool. With the infinite energy one still just being available as infinite energy. Uh, development room. Change weapon. Homing missile. I mean, it's no more ridiculous than the earlier games where he was just... Uh, he was... Uh, classic Mega Man was pulling out hardware that he had no right to have simultaneously, you know? Give the armor an upgradable Zenny magnet field. Yeah, that, that would work too. They could do a lot of things. Like, they just have direct upgrades on the armor instead of having to buy individual pieces and letting you skip tiers that way too. Headlamps. Depends on whether... Okay, the headlamps will only be necessary if they keep the game as dark as this one is. And it's only dark because of the PS1's draw distance. Okay, max range is... Wait, I did max the range, right? Wow, that's not... Or wait, no, is it showing my buster range still? Yeah, lock-on shows my buster range, not my but, uh, stub weapon range. That's not bad. Uh, even without a... Even without a damage upgrade, that's really not bad. Now the real question. Wait. It's hitting just before the rock. So if I wiggle my way forward, I blew up the rock. I, I, I successfully blew up the rock. Dwayne is no more. Hi. How are you? Okay, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Yes, that is part of how I successfully, uh... That's, that's part of how I successfully got the S rank license. Because, uh, holy crap, without it, there would be basically no way. With, admittedly, my level of skill. Uh, there's just too much health pulls on the spawner enemies. Okay. But, with that out of the way... That's going to be it for us for today. Uh, next time, we will continue with Yosyanka and probably the fourth key dungeons. I only see us having maybe two, three streams of this left. Probably, probably three. It depends on if they throw a whammy on us after the uh, fourth key dungeon. So with that all out of the way, thank you everybody for watching. If you are new here and haven't followed yet, feel free to drop one if you want to see more. 
or a subscription on YouTube if you're watching the VOD. And if you would like to support the stream financially, there is a Ko-Fi link down in the description of the VODs or underneath the stream. It is not remotely necessary, but every last little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. With that all said, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. This is Rain, signing off.